Well, new at six, there's some confusion in an East Rogers community after families reported their concerns about a sex offender living nearby. But the owner of that property says there is no way a sex offender lives there. Five News reporter Jose Carranza dug into the issue and found out the sex offender in question is actually behind bars and has been for quite some time. In the hills of Eastern Rogers, just miles from the lake, Jeff Crump retired to live out his days in Northwest Arkansas. But a neighborhood rumor has the property owner concerned. They received notice from my realtor, Deanne Edwards, that somebody had posted that a registered sex offender had moved onto the property and was paroled, which was not true. Neighbors believed George Lynn Perez lived on Crump's property. He's been incarcerated for 20 years, and to have it show up yesterday is I have no reason why. A spokesperson for the State Department of Corrections confirmed that Perez has been incarcerated since 2007, serving a life sentence for kidnapping and rape. Crump bought the property in question back in 2017 as an addition to his own. It was a very old lady. She died here, and her daughter, I believe, was married to the sex offender. The house was sold on a state sale, and I was high as bitter. But what adds to the confusion is the home is no longer there. There used to be a three-bedroom, two-bath brick house, and it was in uh, bad shape, so we tore it down. While Perez does not appear on Benton County's sex offender registry, he does show up on the Arkansas registry with Crump's address. According to the state's sex offender registry disclaimer, the information on the site is provided as a service to the community and is reviewed and updated regularly by the Arkansas Crime Information Center. I'd like to see the man's uh, mailing address removed from my address because he hasn't been here in 20 years and he's a convicted felon. Uh, it just looked bad for me and my family. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Now, in the last hour, we did get a statement from the Department of Public Safety. A spokesperson says they rely on local jurisdictions for the registry information. And the last time Benton County sent ACIC an update was in 2006. They have corrected the address and will show the changes on the registry by tomorrow morning.